A client emailed me a portion of an image for suggestions on repairing this type of problem. The reflections in the glasses are to be eliminated. So, in all image editing, you got to tell the computer first the effect you want to do, and second, the area you want the effect applied. So, first let's choose the effect. In this case, we'll go adjustment layer, hue saturation, colorize, OK. Now we are going to tell the computer where to perform that effect through a mask. So fill, so fill black tells the computer no effect and paint white tells the computer to apply the effect. So paint, 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 paint. And now let's modify that effect to something useful. We will move the sliders here to get the affected area to match the rest of the picture. There we go. Now all we have to do is clone and heal to eliminate the lines on the edge where the effect was. Before we do that, let's copy all our work to a new layer so select all, copy merged, and paste. Here is the new layer with a compilation of all the changes from the layers beneath it. And we'll do all our cloning on this new layer. This is delicate work so I'll reduce the opacity on my cloning brush. Okay, so keep cloning until you get what you want. If you're new to cloning, keep going. It takes some time to get used to it, but don't get discouraged. I'm making it look easy. It's not this easy if you aren't experienced. So let's do the trickier side now. I start the same way, adjustment layer, hue saturation, colorize, OK. Now I mask the area, black means no, white means yes. Paint, 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 paint. Fine tune the effect a little. Okay, so we're going to make a new layer, select all, copy merged, paste. Now use the clone and healing tool to get the look you want. Here I'm cloning. No, no, that's no good. Let me try the healing brush. Yeah, okay, that's that's getting good. What we're trying to do is blend the two color patches into a seamless band of color. So play with the clone and heal until that line is gone.
and the eye we want it white so just turn it monochrome or we can desaturate it you can do that using the same tool we've been using all along the hue saturation but for I want you to do this for homework and I want you to email me how you would use hue and saturation to get the eye the right color but uh, just just to show you I will use another tool the channel mixer so I go adjustment layer channel mixer monochrome then I'll adjust the sliders until I get something I like there we are okay now I'll mask the effect black tells the computer no effect here and white says put the effect here this is okay but there's too much gray so I'll just reduce the opacity on that layer and ta-da! that's it done